Hey guys, welcome to the video series on Microsoft Azure DP203. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In today's video, we'll start looking into the design and develop of data processing. The topics we will cover here are transform data by using Apache Spark cleansing data, uh, performing data exploratory analysis, cleaning and transform data using T-SQL. Uh, so for Spark, let's jump into the demo directly or look into the code directly perfect here we can use Azure snaps analytics sorry here we are using Azure snaps analytics but same things can be done in Azure Databricks or HD insights for Azure Databricks like you need to mount the data lake where the data is stored like in this case we are using the open data set so you need to mount the data lake where wherever you store your open data sets. Let's look into the code and try to understand what kind of transformation, cleaning, and exploratory analysis we are doing. So if you look at me to the first cell, we are reading New York taxi data from open data sets in Azure ML uh, library or package. And uh, we are also importing date time and date util. Uh, libraries and from there like specifically date time and the parser functions and this is just to um, to get the dates uh, in our code and here we are setting up two variables which are uh, end date and start date and uh, and after that we are using these two variables to fetch the New York taxi data so uh, we here we are reading or you can say extracting only 12 dates of data from June 2018 into a data frame. Once the data is loaded into the data, data frame, the first step in like in real world to or generally is to uh, understand the data. How we understand the data, we need to perform some exploratory analysis. So it's always a good practice to perform exploratory analysis on each data sets which you read. Uh, so the first thing we check whenever, or I do that, like I check the schema of the data sets to understand the, uh, what's the structure of the data. So when I say structure, like what, what, what are the data types and et cetera, data type and uh, si data size and all those kind of things, I look into this. So if you look at this, I have already ran, ran this code so we can look into the output. So here you can see, this is the schema of our, uh, uh, New York taxi data where we have vendor day, vendor ID which is an integer whether it could be nullable or not so these th kind of things help you um, to understand like okay what is the data type of uh, of the columns which I'm going to use and how um, if, if you want to modify it or let's say if you want to join it to something we need to keep data types in our mind otherwise like when you're joining let's say vendor ID uh, in this data frame to something where like vendor ID is stored as text, you won't be able to join it. So those kind of things um, give you an idea, okay, what what columns are there, what data types are there, whether it's nullable or not. And uh, after that, uh, we, we should look in, we should check the like data with like limited number of records. So when, um, like you show, I'm, I'm sh displaying only five, but like a general rule of thumb, like do at least 100 or 500. So in that way, like you actually see the data here, it doesn't look uh, because of the number of columns, it doesn't look really good, but uh, this give you an idea, okay, how uh, my data set look and, uh, uh, and like the fields you wanna use, like uh, what type of fields and all those kind of information. This, this is like a stepping stone for further exploration. And uh, the next thing is to always do the count on number of records. So you just want to be sure like how many, um, like how many records you are extracting. And the other thing is like, uh, you also want to make sure the number of records you are extracting from your, s extracting uh, should match to your source. So this is also another good practice. And uh, uh, for exploratory analysis, you can do like a statistical measure, um, statistical, uh, I'll say pro pro like a measure on, mes like statistical check on measure properties. And this will give you, 
explore this like this will give you the value of like what's the how many counts what's the mean standard deviation mean max and this helps a lot like if you're doing a uh, advanced analytics or these kind of things like it it helps in data science and uh, uh, advanced uh, sorry analytics project may not be in reporting projects but like in, in analytics and data science projects and uh, after that like I, I'm just like cleaning the data here and the cleaning the data is basically based on your business and technical requirements so it, it could be uh, like just removing some columns which you don't need for your reporting or data, like analytics or any further down the line filtering the data so where like we, you're removing something which you don't want uh, how you want to treat your null values those kind of things how you want to treat your dates like um, um, because data is always a, like a one thing which you, when you move data from one source to another system it it sometimes changes or like you need to keep date um, in your mind so um, like in some places you will see it's a date timestamp uh, in some places it's exactly date and some places like uh, when they read like for example in hive they convert into string so keep um, like you need to be aware about these things and you need to make your um, transformations or I can say data cleaning by those things and in this example like we are just simply removing some columns which we don't need and after that we just uh, like filtering some uh, like we are filtering removing those records uh, which are removing those records uh, which is null for pickup longitude this is like an example but uh, uh, it can be different in 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 a in in your use case but this is just to give you an idea like how uh, what is cleaning and uh, exploratory analysis of data means and uh, after that like uh, I'm, I'm performing like some transformations and again transformations depend on your requirements but in this example we are creating um, various columns uh, you can see it like this is our database and we are creating like date time month num date of month date of week and hour of the day these are the like columns which we created I mean we fetched all these information from pickup date time and uh, uh, in, the, in the last column we just uh, like added an extra column named country code and filled with the literal value US and after all these transformations like the next step we are doing uh, is um, we are just enriching the data with the holiday data that's also available in the open data sets uh, of uh, Azure and uh, with this data also we will do some basic cleaning and transformation and then join it to the taxi data and you can see here like we reading from the same uh, package and after that uh, with using the same start and end date and storing it to an, uh, in a like a data frame and just seeing like first five top five records of it and here as I mentioned like um, we'll do some cleaning and some transformation so you can see like we renamed uh, uh, country code to country reason code and and we fetches that like we created a new column named date time and this we got from the date field and after all like after that we are seeing what like how our data look now and next is like we're doing the join to the New York taxi data you can see it's a left join and this is a join on these two things and after that like like it's a join on these after that we just simply displaying the data and uh, then we creating a like an a, a, like a temporary table and just um, doing some spark uh, query on that like and which is basically a straight query if you look at like we are selecting all the records and where holiday name is not now uh, like further we uh, like in this notebook I'm going to post this notebook in the uh, in my github repo and the link will be in the description so you can see like it's like just using another data sets and uh, and like doing this similar kind of things like uh, 
um, joining it with the like our old data sets doing some aggregations those kind of things you will see it here so you will understand it like it's nothing very complicated like here you can see we are filtering stuff and all so this notebook will give you in a, like a good idea of uh, uh, of a spark transformation how like uh, how we do transformations or how we do exploratory analysis or cleaning of um, uh, cleaning of uh, data in spark now just let's lump and in, jump into our SQL so uh, for SQL we are not going to have any code or something we just going to have a, a discussion because um, uh, we, we we all use SQL in our day-to-day -day life and we are aware about all these things so but I just want to mention so we know what exactly is uh, cleaning and transformation um, we do in our day-to-day -day SQL life so even in SQL like um, we all aware that the real world data is messy uh, it's the same goes with the SQL too and when I mean when I say messy it doesn't mean like a uh, in relational databases like it's uh, it's in a raw format but it's most of the time it's not in the right format which you want to consume directly into your SQL for reporting or analytics and those kind of things so we need to transform as per our needs and uh, here we're going to talk about some general use cases where we need to clean and transform uh, things in SQL too so the first thing is the null values you uh, we, we see it like a lot in like a lot of the columns have null values so we use call as there to uh, clean those kind of uh, null values or even sometimes like we filter out those uh, records where the value is null uh, second is the calculated fields like we have to create some calculated fields using the case when so I'll give you an example so uh, let's say you have a um, you have a like a country um, as a country as a column but you want to create a new field name uh, continent so there you can use case when so for example case when country is Canada so continent will be North America case when uh, country is India then continent will be uh, Asia so those kind of things and uh, third is the data type so basically with the data type is uh, uh, we have to cast data types a uh, uh, lot of times to um, are based on our requirements so there we change data types using cast uh, um, function in some cases it's like it's uh, uh, explicit too but in some cases we have to do it uh, the third or the sorry the fourth thing is the dates uh, as I mentioned uh, with the spark uh, that dates are the something which uh, is in my experience like it's more messy than other data sets in a lot of times because dates are like sometimes it's a system dates uh, depending on from what source it's coming what uh, um, another thing like a, uh, what time zone we are using so those kind of things we need to keep in mind and there are like so many functions available in date uh, like already existing functions which you can use to extract the right dates and we saw it in the spark uh, column uh, in the spark example too where we extracted the uh, different parts of the date to, from uh, one field um, duplication is also another thing which is uh, part of the cleaning um, like uh, um, we we don't want to report on like duplicate numbers so we we want to make sure like our data is distinct and we are reporting the actual facts not the uh, skewed facts and the last is the string so for string we have a uh, so many functions so um, strings like uh, uh, sometimes we we just need like only a portion of the string and um, so one example could be let's say um, you have a message or comment field which uh, can have any which is like a free text and allow users to input anything but we are looking for only those records where user mention about uh, 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 let's say they use like a foul language or they they uh, they talking about the specific product of our company so they're like we have to use either regular expressions or like built-in functions or like kind of 
um, operation uh, uh, like kind of operators where like you like you put a condition in where clause where like and put a percentage whatever you're looking so these things are basically like a cleaning and transformation of of data in SQL and it's it's pretty like general in every SQL so same things apply for the T SQL too and you can go um, deeper and deeper like string have its own list of functions same goes with the dates but uh, this is just to give you a general idea like how cleaning and transformation do and the idea here is not to give you an example because we work with SQL a lot so that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.